Welcome to Revival Time Hub, the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar, it shall never go out. Somebody shout, Miracle Explosion! Jakta to Sheka saw that Mama is not responding. She slumped and died. The story you are about to watch is about an 85-year-old woman raised from the dead, a testimony of God's healing power. Itele, a suburb in Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria, witnessed the explosive miracles of God as a woman, Mama Alice Oladekwo, who was confirmed dead came back to life. It is like a movie. I can't explain it all. All I remember that day is that I was pressed. And as I was returning to the city room, where we were listening to the crusade, the sister I was with held my hand and noticed my temperature was high. As we sat down to continue, I blanked out. It all started with a request to listen to the DCLM radio in Yoruba language. One of the sisters in the church, Ruth Ogwai, helped to connect Mama. Mama came around and I opened the radio station, the radio for her in Yoruba language while I listened in a English language. So after on getting to point three, Mama said she needed to visit the restroom. I took her down to the restroom. So after a while, I visited the restroom as well. Then my uncle was with us when we were listening to the message when the altar call was being made by GS. So from there, I was hearing my, I had my uncle calling onto mama, 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 now start praying, put your request before the Lord, start praying. But the calling was more than once, I was like somebody that was not sleeping before I left there, even if the person was sleeping, definitely she would have wake up to start praying. But the calling was much, it was calling, it was calling her several times so i have to rush down back to the sitting room then i jacked mama because she was sitting down in the seat on the seat i jacked her to shake her so that mama is not responding then i begin to hit her chest at the back and at the front to see to, to see if there's any way to resuscitate her. Then the eye has gone up, the tongue has come out, and Mama was not responding anymore. They were said, now we're going to pray. And as I came to the pulpit here, and I announced that Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, and then I said, we're going to pray now. And we began to pray before the final amen. That woman rose up. Fauziatu Oladipo, a Muslim, testified that she thought her mother was completely dead. In fact, she had closed her mother's eye. My name is Fauzat Oladipo from Itele in Ogun State. I was called that Mama was not talking anymore. After two hours, I laid her down so they can come to carry her in an ambulance to the morgue. When I got back, I saw people praying and pleading the blood of Jesus and Mama also responded. When she woke up, she started shouting, Jesus, Jesus, 
Jesus, she asked, Why do we have so many people crowded here? We were praying before, and I was praying as well. I never knew I had gone. Mama told us not to cry anymore. That sorrow is not our portion. For Mama Alice, Oladipo, she will continue to serve God. As she says, there is no other way. I want to enjoy those who don't know Jesus to come and taste of his goodness. Because if I was an unbeliever, I wouldn't have been able to get the second chance to come back to life. I will also continue to pray for Pastor Kumui. His prayer over us gets answered. And my prayer over him will be answered too. He will not fail and it will not falter. In Jesus' mighty name. The ministration of the man of God is clear everywhere he goes. As it was said, with the power of Jesus, he's always doing good. Join the move of God in the ongoing global crusade and experience the unthinkable, the incredible power of the living God. God is still working. And in your life, it will work in Jesus' name. It has happened there, it will happen to you. I've been going to various places, and the power of God, I've been walking without any limitation. And this morning, resurrection power. Roll away the stone. The stone over your life will roll away in Jesus' name. This is your day of victory. I will see this victory manifested everywhere. And this is Headquarters Deeper Life Bible Church. God has made us the head. We're going to remain the head in Jesus' name. And if all these people, north, west, south, and east, if they are getting all these miraculous manifestations and touch, we who are the head, God will multiply everything and shower it upon us in Jesus' name. Let me just tell you now, even though you are standing, I'm sure you are not tired. I said you are not tired. As you have heard, uh, you know, in Taraba State, after a lot of things happened, blind eyes opened, the deaf and dumb received their miracle, and a lot of, a lot of things happened. On the final day, I wanted to just say thank you to the state overseers who had joined hands together in making that program a possibility. And so I called them to the state overseer's office. And I said, thank you very much. We thank the Lord for what the Lord has done. We shared a lot together. And then we now shared how the other regions, other zones will uh, kind of organize their own. And while we were in the office there, some people, because the security they stayed with me, they didn't stay near the car. They made, uh, you know, four lame people. This one lame, that one lame and unconscious, lying on the mat. Another one on the chair, another one on the wheelchair. Four of them, one, two, three, four. And as we finished, I was about to come out. So as we, that was final. We had finished everything. And uh, so I then was going to go to the car. The chief security first officer came to me and said, Sir, I'm sorry. I don't know why these uh, ushers and security people, uh, they need to watch. And they made the people to stay by the car. I said, don't worry. And so and there's no way you could enter the car without passing by them. And I saw the four of them there and I greeted them and I said, the Lord will touch you now. 
And then I just remember everything had finished. There's no crusade anymore. We finalized everything. They had said the last amen. And you know, and so I said, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And uh, so I didn't need to wait for them, you know, check up yourself when you hear the final amen, whatever. So I entered the car. As I entered the car, and the car was about to move, then I heard shouting. And um, when we got to the uh, government house where we lodged, they, gave, they came back with information. Number one rose up, number two rose up, number three rose up, number four rose up. God is walking. I said, God is walking. You will not miss your miracle. No matter how, no matter what, no matter the challenge there, I bring the power of God upon your life this morning in Jesus' name. We crossed over to Emo State where all the five states in, the, in that zone came together. You've never seen a crowd like that in your life before. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. And then many, many things happened. As we uh, finished the uh, crusade and the you know, teaching and everything, there was this man that was bent down, could not lift up herself, like the one you read about in Luke chapter 13. And uh, so she went to fetch water. As she went to fetch her water, she, because she couldn't lift up herself, she couldn't even lift up the bucket of water. And so she beckoned on one of the young men, come and help me carry this uh, bucket of water. As that young man was coming, all of a sudden, the power of God came upon her. And she lifted up herself and stood straight and carried her own bucket of water. You will carry your own bucket of water in Jesus' name. It was in Emo State. Uh, we just uh, finished the crusade. We finished everything. And this was Sunday afternoon. The people were going back home. As they were going back home, one young man there, a vehicle knocked him down. And his bone was broken. And as the bones were fractured, the brothers quickly went there and carried him to carry him to the hospital. On the way to the hospital, before they got to the hospital, the bones joined together. And then he got down and began to walk. And they returned. They didn't get back to the hospital again. They came back with testimony. I'm sending you away from this place with your own testimony impossibilities will be possible in your life in Jesus name and then we got to Bielsa I think it's in Bielsa here we were we were just you know when you give the message at the crusade you say now if you want to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ raise up your hands so they raised up their hands and uh, while they were taking the names down they were shouting somewhere and uh, so I sent, uh, you know, somebody, I said, go check up. Why are they shouting over there? We have not even prayed for the sick. And uh, so when they went to check up, somebody who had been blind for five years, before prayer, the eyes got opened. And while you are listening to these testimonies, a miracle is coming your way. Your mountain will move away in Jesus' name. Everywhere we have gone, you know, I've gone to Kotonou Bene Republic and I've gone to Togo. Within this period, I've gone to Ghana. Within this period, I've gone to Akure for Ondo State. This period, I've gone to Ibadan Oyo State. This period, and now I am in Lagos. Thanks for watching Revival Time Hub. Huh? But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass, for he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was.